Now, Chris goes on to say, what what do you recommend as the best resources for achieving the controls? Okay, I can answer that one. And more specifically, which to choose to fulfill the control requirements and how to implement the controls would be, this would be the STIGs or what? Yes, yep, you got it. So it'd be, STIGs is one way, but there's a couple of other ways you wanna implement controls. Let me see if I can bring up some stuff here. I'm gonna bring up some stuff that we can look at together. NIST 853, no, NIST, uh, actually, you wanna know how to implement the controls. So we're just gonna go to NIST, we're gonna go to the STIGs, let's just go to the STIGs. Stop messing around with this. Go to the STIGs and let me show you my screen real quick of one of the places that you that you could use to implement controls excuse me and actually this guide right here is a manual version but they have stigs that are uh you have an automated version of this and i don't have access if you are on a department of defense system and you have access to the in really department of homeland security might have access certain agencies might have access and the department of defense has access but let me show you what I'm talking about here, dis.mil stigs. DISA has a really good suite of tools for this. So, you know what? Here's what I'm going to do. Let me just show you this real quick so I don't get too sidetracked here. So, first of all, this stig covers every aspect of security. Every kind of new system that they're using is on here, is on this list. Right? So, I mean, just let me just kind of scroll through and just randomly choose something like this ibm mq applications there there's a stig for this and it tells you what things to look out for and it's constant constantly updated these v ids are constantly updated and it's telling you what you should see on this system right now this is just thousands and thousands of different controls and thousands of different breakdowns of how to actually how to actually fix this and um, just all kinds of stuff, right? This is a Juniper router, and this is telling you, hey, group accounts. If they have a group account, uh, group accounts must be configured to use uh, the network device. And description is group accounts configured to use on the network device do not allow for accountability uh, or uh, repudiation of the individual. So. There you go. So this is actually telling you what you should see, what you should implement as a security person. But let me go a little further here. Let me show you some really cool, some of the cooler tools that uh, are out there that I used to use a lot. Not so much anymore. I'm not in this space. But this is, man, they keep changing this thing. It looks different every time I come here. But if you go to public.cyber.mil or disa.mil, you'll see downloadable tools that you can use that actually goes through that huge list that we showed it has an automated tool that quickly scans your system like whether it's a server or windows 10 or red hat or whatever it has a script that will go through scan it and tell you hey you need to have all of these things and it makes it a lot easier for us implementing security controls because we can then focus just on this list now it's going to be a list of like two three hundred things items but it's at least somewhere where you can start right because a lot of things that you don't have to worry about it just focuses on the things that you should worry about let me show you the stig uh download i can, and i'm not going to be able to download this thing uh, and i i have i might have an old copy of it and i plan on doing a whole course about this at some point when i get more time because um this is something i did a lot you know, and every now and then somebody will contact me and I'll do it for them. Like I'm still, sometimes I'll do <laughs> side projects while I'm helping people do this. Uh, cloud computing, look at this cloud computing. Holy crap, this is new. Look at this, wow. So look at this, this is a cloud computing security guide, uh, security requirements guide. This guide right here will walk you through what you wanna see for cloud computing. 
Now, here it is right here. And it's, it, this is specifically for, let me see if I can make this bigger. I don't know why I can't, I can't make it bigger, but this is for Akamai. So I, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. I've not worked with that system before. But yeah, best practices for cloud computing owners. And this is like a downloadable that you can get. Yeah, here it is right here. And this is walking you through like the, what they want to see for a federal system. Unclassified, I, I just, I'm a civilian. I don't have access to any of this this is stuff but this is free for anyone to download so you know there you go right there and this is telling you what you should see at this level what what kinds of things you see at that level very useful tools very useful you know and if you're talking about cloud technologies which is I've talked about several times on this channel it, you really want to go to FedRAMP that's really where you want to go the FedRAMP is the end-all be-all has everything you need uh, for this so this is kind of a limited limited page for FedRAMP is where you want to go but we're not talking about FedRAMP we're talking about STIGs so I want to see if I can download the actual application for STIGs and I'm, I'm not seeing where where's the where is it man they change this They're always changing stuff man it's annoying I mean just always changing stuff all right Okay, I think it's on this page right here. I'm on cyber.mil, stigs, forward slash stigs. And I'm looking for, and I'm sure one of you guys knows exactly where to look for this. Uh, here it is. R, R, SRG stig tools. Now they have a breakdown. It's, it's not very intuitive, but they have a a very good guide on how to do all this it's very thorough I'll, I'll give this to the Department of Defense they're very 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 thorough very thorough so it walks you through how to download it how to use it what you should see everything and as you can see they have one for Linux for Mac for Win 64 you know they phased out 32 I think with Windows 32 um, a long time ago but yeah here it is right here and there's an actual, there's an actual software that I don't, let me see if I can download it. 